It looks like something out of Miami Vice, but it's right here in Oklahoma. We got the fan boat about three years ago, mostly just for playing on the river and fishing, and it's been a great use here the last few days. Like many Oklahomans, the Case family has struggled with the recent rains. There were spots that was probably close to 10 foot. A pasture once green with forage has become a chain of islands along the Arkansas River, dotted with cattle in desperate need of feed. Went to work all day and then came home to flooded waters and unloaded boats and went out and fed cows with cake and hay. And we'll uh, bring and put six, eight bags on a boat for the weight wise so we don't sink the boats. And then we'll put six or eight bales of hay on another boat and we'll haul it out to them. Throughout the hardship, the Case family is well aware this isn't the first time Oklahoma has seen rains of historic levels. It happened back in 86 and back in 73. They said this was worse than 86. But the Case family has never witnessed anything like this. Well, I woke up to the water being too high to get the cattle out. It was just one morning, the water was almost as high, as, about as high as it is now. And that's, we didn't have an option, we didn't have an option. The Case family, having lived in Ponca City for 10 years, only just dipping their toes into the ranching business. This would definitely be one of our biggest adversities. We were just kind of getting started and just have a few head of cows, and so this is definitely the biggest challenge we've had. But the Case family has one thing that helps them manage through the floods. We've had gracious friends and family that have opened their homes and their pastures up that are dry to our, our horses and our other dogs, uh, friends that have opened their homes to us, neighbors that have cooked dinner for us. We've been pretty blessed in that aspect. And as for the future, day by day, pray for no rain. In Kay County, I'm Ed Barron.